Hey guys, Neptune here, and I'm back as loud as I've ever been. Seriously, I get those complaints all the damn time, every time. You guys are used to obnoxiously loud YouTubers. And, well, guess you made me join the club. If this volume level is not fine, I'll be puzzled for my damn life. And please, let's not make it a running joke of you requesting me to increase the volume every damn time. Wow, that's that's a that's a very long intro. But yeah, I'm back with another favorite weapon of mine that is very good and is underrated, underused, and oh boy, it's a crossbow. Today we talk about Avalyn. Now, obviously, it's not that much of a surprise as Black Knight Shield was, but I still think that crossbows are underrated, because they're so damn good in offhand in Dark Souls 3. So let's start with the basics. What makes a crossbow good in Dark Souls 3? Well, a couple of things. First, and the most important one, ability to reload whenever you want. It may sound like a simple thing, but in reality it's so damn huge. In Dark Souls 3, you don't get stuck in recovery animation for 5 years after you shoot a crossbow, so you get to be a lot more nimble in the battle. Because you don't get stuck in recovery animation for 5 years, you gain access to plenty of cool bait setups, which is something that separates shitty one-dimensional weapons from good multi-dimensional weapons. Now let's talk about attack speed. All crossbows are quick as hell. This obviously includes Avalyn that shoots not one, but three balls at the same time. Just a regular R1 with Avalyn is as fast as straight sword R1, which makes it an excellent weapon to punish whiffs. In fact, the best one. Because if you're using crossbow, range becomes irrelevant for you, since you can reach your opponent at any distance. Pair it with a fast attack speed and you've got the perfect weapon to punish whiffs. So your enemy whiffs, you can punish it no matter what. So yeah, crossbows are godlike at whiff punishes and allow cool setups since you can delay the reload animation and use it as a bait. But why exactly Avalyn? Well, it's not that simple. There is another crossbow that competes with Avalyn, Arbalest. Now all our crossbows have different reload times and Avalyn obviously has the longest one, which is an obvious drawback. It also rarely does full damage, as it requires all three balls to land to do full damage, and with the tracking in Dark Souls 3 it can be problematic, whereas Arbalest needs to land only one big bolt, and it's done. Now, another special property of crossbows worth mentioning is that they can trigger counter hits, and despite Avalyn doing a lot of damage on counter hit, the damage bonus applied only to the first bolt you land. Whereas Arbalest gets to land only one and it hits very, very hard. So you may be confused as to why I picked Avalyn. Well, the answer is simple. 360 no scopes. That's right. Pair Avalyn with explosive bolts and you get yourself a perfect 360 no scope machine. Since it allows you to spin unlocked while shooting, you can slide your aim ever so slightly to truck your enemy with three explosive bolts with each exploding on the ground. This gives you massive advantage over Arbalest and allows you to become an MLG pro. Oh, did I mention that Avalon allows you to access the best taunt in the game? Check this fucking arrogant walk of peace, it's surreal. Yeah guys, Avalon is amazing. It is as good as a shield as an offhand tool, and I feel like it is criminally underused in PvP. Now, my internet is a complete dog shit, and it basically does not exist at this point in time, but I promise you some shitty narrated duels by the end of the week using Avalyn and uh, something in the main hand. So yeah guys, stay tuned, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.